Now, at the moment, our foreign uh, reserves has gone down up to US dollars 2.9 billion, and cost of living is going very up, and, and people don't have a money. There are a lot of food crises in the country. So there are even now already government has stopped a lot of uh, goods importing from other countries. So only we are now depending on the local product. So there are big crises in the country. People are suffering. Uh, other from the other side uh, than China, no country is interested to give the financial support to the Sri Lanka. Even uh, the government has no idea to go to the International Monetary Fund. They always depend, try to depend on China. So there are a lot of crises in the country up to now. I think this crisis will increase within another two, three, four months. Uh, so when we are looking at what's happening in Sri Lanka, uh, what we can see is a uh, huge mismanagement of our foreign policy uh, by the current government. Uh, the general perception is that China is trying to uh, push its agenda at the expense of Sri Lanka's national interest. But in my opinion, I don't think it's fair to blame China or any foreign power for that matter. Because for them, it's all about establishing their authority through whatever means they have. So they are using all kinds of platforms, be it economic, cultural, uh, uh, financial, political, all kinds of avenues to pursue their agenda. And it is up to the Sri Lankan government to protect the interests of the country, to safeguard the interest of the Sri Lankan population. So what we see here is that the Sri Lankan government, uh, Sri Lankan administration is not, not protecting uh, the interest of the people. Right now, Sri Lanka is experiencing uh, an unprecedented foreign exchange crisis. That is the reality. Uh, the foreign uh, reserves are uh, going down and the country is uh, facing issues in terms of debt repayment. Uh, because of that, there is a huge financial crisis in the country and that is very much visible. So it is uh, ac underst understandable that China is currently using this foreign exchange crisis, this foreign exchange issue, to establish their authority over Sri Lanka. So the question here is that how the Sri Lankan government, while using uh, whatever the options they have, while, while not, I mean, I'm not trying to say that Sri Lankan government should rule China out, while working with China, while working with international partners, while working with international stakeholders, how can the Sri Lankan government protect the national interests of the people? This is the most critical question. Currently, what we are seeing is that Sri Lankan government is desperate for a way out. They are desperate for foreign exchange. They are desperate for more money. So for that, they are willing to go to any level to make it happen.